All right. All right. Cool math trick. To fool your friends. By Grace Mari. All right, so you're bored and you're in math class and you're me. Now, since you're me and you're bored in math class, you always want to try to figure things out that go beyond your math homework because frankly, math can get a little bit dull and boring sometimes. So this is something that one of my friends told me and I did not believe them until I got bored during class today and decided to try it out. So now you pick any number between one and 20. So for our purposes, to make it easy, we'll pick five. And then so you take your number, which is five, and multiply it by two, so you get 10. And then you add six to that number, which makes you get 16. And then you divide that number in half, which makes you get eight. And now you're going to subtract your original number from this number. So you subtract five from eight, and you get three. Now, if you uh, do the same operations on any number between 1 and 20, you're going to get 3. Well, don't believe me? Well, here we're going yeah. to take another number. Let's say we'll pick 9. And we'll uh, multiply that by 2, so you get 18. Add 6, so then you get 24. Divide 24 by 2, so you get 12. Subtract 9 from 12 and you get three. Now, you're probably wondering, what if the number isn't between one and 20? Will it still work? The answer is no, it will not still work. But of course, you're going to want me to show you that because you are a math genius. And here is where I prove your dissenting opinion wrong. And if you agreed with me all the way through, then you can pause this video. Or if you just want to find out, even if you had agreed with me. But if you had agreed with me, then you are probably my favorite math student right now, even though I am not a teacher and don't plan on being one. So now we're going to take a number bigger than 20, 22. And we are going to double it. So that's going to be 44. Uh, add 6. So that's going to be 50. Divide by 2. That's 25. Now, you notice that when we're going to subtract the new number from the original number, it is bigger than the original number, which means that we will come up with a negative 3. So, it works, and you're going to get negative 3 every time you get a number bigger than 20. So, no, it does not become 3, but we have just made a new discovery. So, if you want to see more math videos from me, in my times board then please click the subscribe bit button and thank you for watching.